taking the brush, burning the brush. My father has an outdoor fire pit. We were on a, uh, an air taxi run down to the casinos in, in Atlantic City. And I put gasoline, the wind caught it. The whole thing exploded. I was an electrical worker and very badly burned over 65% of my body. Uh, we were high fast and landed very long at Bridgeport and collided with the blast fence that was at the end of the runway. I thought it was all over at that point. I was conscious throughout the accident and I was read my last rights. The EMT and the ambulance kept telling me to hang in there. He says, hang in there, hang in there, Bridgeport in two minutes. When I uh, got into the ambulance, I said, my airway is fine. Um, just take me to Bridgeport Hospital. The ideas for the Burn Center started in 1973. There was an explosion in a chemical plant in Stratford, and there were six people who were very badly burned, and they were taken to Bridgeport Hospital. The chief of surgery was Dr. Andrew J. Panettiere, and he had the vision to start the Burn Center. He was aware that it requires a very special type of treatment, which the hospital at that time didn't have. Bridgeport Hospital actually is one of the first 10 burn centers started in the United States. The only burn center in the state of Connecticut. And then we provide the best care that we could possibly have, meeting all of the highest standards from the American Burn Association. Burns affect every aspect of the patients. Pain-wise, they're very painful. Burn care is a multidisciplinary type of care. What we're going to do is we're going to move into the 21st century in the renovation and provide a private, clean, and very functional space for each of the patients. One of the things that we are supporting is the renovation of a suite or hotel room within the burn center where a family of a patient being treated can stay so they can be close to the loved one. Patients need family support can't overemphasize the importance of that. To have your family there is everything. It's important to support uh, this fundraising effort because our members are directly involved along with the general public. I'd like to take this opportunity on behalf of uh, each and every firefighter across the state of Connecticut to thank all those who contributed. Again, no matter how small or how large, we appreciate everyone's effort. For a long time, I donated to the, to the Burn Center, and I'll continue to donate to the Burn Center because they saved my life. I mean, of all the places I went, certainly Bridgeport's is, is family. It made me really think how grateful we all should, should be that my father's even alive, because I know most people wouldn't survive that, and I owe Bridgeport Hospital my dad's life. The Burn Center gave me my life back. I have five kids, and if I couldn't come home to them, I don't know what they would have done. We cannot accomplish our ambitious goal of a $1.5 million improvement to the Connecticut Burn Center without the help and without the assistance of everybody in the community we serve. Every gift, every donation, regardless of size, contributes to our goal of $1.5 million. And so I welcome it from the local community store, from the salons, from the firefighters, from businesses, and from individuals. Everyone can contribute. Every dollar helps to get us to maintaining our reputation and the standard of care uh, that we've come to enjoy for years.